recording her first time with her own vlog out on the street. Check it out. What up though guys? Welcome to Hey by Design, a YouTube channel where we explore what is design, who are designers, who is it for, and who needs it most. And I'm Fishan Vega. This is our series called Tip Minute Tuesday, and this is a 10 week process that we're gonna be looking at how to win in 10. 10 steps to win in the morning, the day, the week, and the month. And if we can do that, we can win the quarter, and if we can do that, we can win the year. This is a step-by-step -step process at exploring how to achieve all of your goals in a year's time. Last year, I did a project called the One Year Suit, and I was pretty much 93% successful in everything I, I set out to achieve using this method. I'm re-exploring it and reintroducing it to you guys uh, to help you achieve your goals and be in greater service to everyone. This segment also includes my daughter. Every week, she'll be providing us with a small tip that will hopefully profoundly change the makeup of our success. Today, we're on step two of win and 10, which is focusing on gratitude and scheduling. So let's jump right in and look at why is gratitude so important to us? Why is it one of the earliest steps and why is it something that we wanna continue with? And maybe a couple of quick tools that we've explored before, but really maybe dive into, give more example on how to schedule our time. Oh, also, Avi's gonna be getting her own Venimal kit today. So that is super, super fun. She's really interested in starting YouTube and we've been playing with some strategy and I've been teaching her things that she can do on her own. So we're gonna build that with her and seeing some steps that she can do when we're not together and how we might be able to begin her own YouTube channel. With that said, let's go look into it. The reason gratitude is the second thing you wanna do after waking up in the morning, it sets the tone on how you appreciate things, it keeps you in the moment, and most importantly, it allows you to be appreciative and to be in a space of uh, appreciation or it allows you to be appreciative for the things that's happening to you and with you without uh, setting a space of complaining, right? Or being able to snatch yourself out of dis-ease or depression. The idea is after you wake up in the morning, the official first thing to do is like acknowledge that you're alive, that you're awake, that you have another chance to be awesome, amazing, great, achieve all your goals and something, yourself, the universe, the mother, father, God, the spaghetti eyeball in the sky has given you another chance to achieve your goals and serve humanity. If you have a partner and you're in the bed with them and you wake up, say good morning, give the energy like, hey, I'm happy that you're here, I'm happy you're alive, I'm happy we're alive together. Acknowledge something and just be happy like, man, I'm up gratitude. That's number two because you don't want to go into anything else without being able to appreciate anything else. Planning. Planning is the most important thing out of this whole process because it is a plan. And the idea is the way to win the day is to make sure you have set steps to achieving them. Most people don't achieve their goals not because they're not able to, not because they're not strong enough, not because they don't have the skill set. It's simply because we haven't been really taught how to plan. We're told to have goals and that's it. And it's just left up to us to just go get them. That's peculiarly insane. Here's a small course on how to prepare. That's week two of January. And Monday would be the seventh. Tuesday the eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth. All right. So let's say on Monday you needed to do first things first. So you knock that out. The next thing you had on your roster was, let's say, school, right? Let's say that's from 8 to 1 p.m. You had to hit the gym. You also needed to study. And let's say you had to practice. And at the end of the day, you wanted to meditate. There, you got that. The next day, you got first things first. I'm gonna say Tuesday, you don't have school, but you have work. Gym again. No practice, but you gotta study. 
so you meal prep on Tuesdays. And there's some space for some other stuff. We're back at school. So, using this method, the staircase method, can help you schedule and plan out your day. But ideally what this does is it, it gives you a growth process of what you're seeing. If we set a goal in here, let's say three days a week at the gym in a month, this is a way to track our progress. We'll be able to see and measure what we've achieved in that space. If you'd like a copy of this, go to Instagram, DM me, and I'll send you an email with a PDF form that you can print out yourself to help you schedule your days, weeks, and months. Uh, let's go see Abby. So, here's Abby, she doesn't know yet. Power. It does. Here comes Fuzzy, the fuzzy, fuzzy microphone. Oh, it's a cherry blossom. More phone cube. <laughs> oh, it goes like that. Mm -hmm. platform to put right here and to make my phone to touch up here so it can be tight. It's too tiny. It's too loose. It doesn't fit in there because you're my daughter and you're a genius. Great minds think alike. Great minds think alike. Great idea, Lodi. High five. I went in a little problem which we used with foam to hold my phone because my phone's too tiny. I had help from my king papa daddy and he helped me put um, the cubes of very stiff foam and it worked out very much. We're going to be playing chess in a little bit. So my chessy got me, which is magnetic. And I'll see you guys soon. recording her first time with her own vlog out on the street. Check it out. Hey guys. Hey baby bear. Time for 10 Minute Tuesday. And Abby has something interesting to say about her experience this week in meditation and something she's learned. Ironically, it lines up exactly with what we're talking about today. What did you learn in meditation this week? Well, to be grateful of the day and to be grateful of what's happening around you because every little thing matters. And if you're not grateful for what is around you, then you might miss out on things that are not only fun, but also important. So it, could, it can make you struggle if it's something that you've missed. I've also learned that you should also be grateful about who you're around, what you're doing with the person. Like, I was playing chess with my daddy, and it means a lot to me and dad. 
so that is one thing I'm grateful for. And not only for things that you're grateful for, for things that you're supposed to be grateful in the future that might happen. For example, I'm going to Ohio for a convention for dance and it's worked out really good for me. And I'm grateful that I get the opportunity and I have done a lot of things to earn it. You should also be grateful for what you have done because you have to earn the things to be grateful for. That's awesome. Yeah, you should be grateful. That's so solid. like, I've worked really hard in dance to go to Ohio to get in Motor City to first go there because there's steps to get to going to big things, like take baby steps. You might think I've done really quick to get there, but I've took years and I started at three because my dad has introduced me to the love of dance. Well, something you said, Avi, was really good just now. You said the steps that you took. And it actually also ties in with the staircase goal setting theory. I got ice cream, we ate burger, we play chess, we learned, well I learned how to vlog, do video, and I've learned, um, we've done the tip minute Tuesday, we've done man our favorite. favorite. I don't have much to say. Uh, the recap is I'm extremely proud to be her father. Follow everybody in Decoy. That's Detroit Conglomerate of YouTubers.